Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit, and for the given circuit, the output across this capacitor, that is Y of t, can be given by this expression. And here, we have been given that the amplitude of this a omega is equal to 0.25. So for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the frequency omega for the sinusoidal signal. So first of all. Let us find the equivalent capacitance of these three capacitors. So here, as you can see, these two capacitors are connected in the series connection. That means their equivalent capacitance will be of the form C1 C2 divided by C1 plus C2. That means it will be equal to C times C divided by 2C. That is equal to 0.5C. And the series connection of these two capacitor is connected in parallel with third capacitor. That means the equivalent capacitance will be equal to C plus 0.5C. That is equal to 1.5C. So if we see the equivalent circuit, then it will look like this. And let's say the voltage at this node is equal to Vx. So this voltage Vx can be given as 1 divided by J times omega times C equivalent divided by 1 plus j times omega times c equivalent plus r or if we simplify it then we can write it as 1 divided by 1 plus j times omega times r times c equivalent so this will be the expression of the voltage vx and if we just consider the magnitude of the vx then this vx will be equal to 1 divided by square root of 1 plus r square times c equivalent square times omega square. So this will be the magnitude of the voltage at this node. Now from the original circuit, if Vx is the voltage at this node, then this voltage Yt will be Vx divided by 2, right? That means we can say that the magnitude of this voltage Yt will be equal to Vx divided by 2. That is equal to 1 by 2 times 1 divided by square root of 1 plus r square times omega square times c equivalent square. And here we have been given that the amplitude of this y of t is equal to 0.25. That means we can say that it is equal to 1 by 4. That means further if we simplify it, then we can say that 1 divided by square root of 1 plus r square times c equivalent square times omega square is equal to 1 by 2 and if we take the square on both sides then we can simplify it as 4 is equal to 1 plus r square times omega square times c equivalent square that means omega square is equal to 3 divided by r square times c equivalent square now as we have seen this c equivalent is equal to 1.5c that is equal to 3 by 2 times c. That means omega square is equal to 3 divided by r square times 9 divided by 4 times c square. That is equal to 4 divided by r square times c square times 3. Or we can say that this omega is equal to 2 divided by root 3 times rc. So this will be the value of the omega. That means for the given question, B is the correct answer. So in this question, we have been given the circuit and here we have been given that the magnitude of the phase difference between this voltage V1 and V2 is equal to pi by 4 radians when the angular frequency is equal to omega. So here we have been asked to find the value of this omega. So first of all, let us find the expression of the voltage V1 and V2. So here, let's say this resistor is equal to R and the impedance of this series combination is equal to Z. That means here, voltage V1 can be given as R divided by R plus Z times V in. That means V1 is equal to 1 ohm divided by 1 ohm plus 1 plus J omega L times V in, where L is equal to 1 Henry. That means V1 is equal to V in divided by 2 plus J omega. 
Now, if we write this expression in the phasor form, then this voltage V1 is equal to V in divided by 2 plus J omega. That means the phase of this voltage V1, let's say it is equal to phi1 is equal to 0 minus 10 inverse of omega divided by 2, right? That means phi1 is equal to minus 10 inverse of omega divided by 2. Similarly, let us find the phase of this voltage V2. So this voltage V2 can be given as Z divided by Z plus R times input signal that is equal to 1 plus j omega divided by 2 plus j omega times input signal. So once again, let us find the phase of this voltage V2. So let's say the phase of this voltage V2 is equal to phi2. So this phase phi2 can be given as 10 inverse of omega divided by 1 minus 10 inverse of omega divided by 2. So this will be the phase of the V2 and here we have been given that the magnitude of the phase difference between this phi1 and phi2 is equal to pi by 4 radian. So from this we can say that minus 10 inverse of omega by 2 that is the phase of the phi1 minus 10 inverse of omega minus 10 inverse of omega by 2 is equal to pi by 4 radian. So this two term will get cancelled out and if we just consider the magnitude then it will be equal to 10 inverse of omega and we have been given that it is equal to pi by 4 radian and it is possible when the omega is equal to 1 radian per second. So from this we can say that the phase difference between the v1 and v2 is pi by 4 radian when omega is equal to 1 radian per second.